With so many things going on in our world, it's easy to forget. So many Tennesseans are still recovering from the deadly March tornadoes. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with a local school director as that district fights with an insurance company over rebuilding costs. Several sad citizens emailed the News Channel 5 newsroom about West Wilson Middle and Stoner Creek Elementary. Every day they pass by, they see this destruction and they remember the EF3 tornado that ravaged their community. I keep urging patience and, and we're working through a process and we certainly understand what's, you know, the community, when they drive past that uh, area, they're looking over there thinking nothing's happening, but there's a, there's a lot of conversation. There's a lot of discussion and negotiation. Wilson County Schools Director Dr. Donna Wright says they want what's best for students and taxpayers. That's why they're asking for more money from their insurance company. We just haven't met that middle piece as far as what we are comfortable with, what we can accept. Hundreds of kids have been impacted by what happened. The school buildings like this are still sitting here with no one inside them, and they hope that changes soon. Dr. Wright says they're not alone. Other people are waiting on insurance too. To please look across the street. There's still homes that are either with blue tarps on, they're still being um, reconstructed. At the same time, they were hit with a double whammy due to the pandemic. For now, hundreds of displaced students are going to class at other schools, trying to make the most of the situation. And because it's something we wake up with every single morning, thinking, are we any closer? And uh, we are in a better place than we were uh, a month ago. Reporting in Mount Juliet, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. 1,700 students and 150 staff members were displaced. Middle schoolers were split between two high schools, and then they made room for some elementary students at nearby middle schools.